Melee Hunter has always been a bit of a meme in the WoW community, but with Phase 2 of Season Discovery, the Melee Hunter is the one that's laughing at the rest. And this is your Season of Discovery guide to Melee Hunter. For the time being, we'll be running Beast Mastery on Gloves, Melee Specialist on Waist, Flanking Strike on Legs, Dual Will Spec on Feet, and Hard to Lie on, on Chest. There's not a lot of contention on this build, but as we get more gear and start scaling away from pet damage, it could absolutely be viable to drop Heart of the Lion and Beast Mastery in favor of Lone Wolf and Carve. That assumes, however, that you have a second hunter in the raid using Heart of the Lion or a Protection Paladin that has Blessing of Kings talented. But even so, right now it's a DPS loss on single target and thus running Lone Wolf is a bit of a meme. If you've been theory crafting on your own, thinking that it could be worth to drop the dual wield rune in favor of trap launcher while using a two-handed weapon, that could be viable in PvP, but does not seem to hold up in PvE. There are three specs that we could run right now that are all viable. The deep survival talents seem to beat the spec performing the worst at the moment. The survival spec has the benefit of picking up 20% extra crit chance on Raptor Strike, 3% crit with all attacks and 15% agility. This means that it could be the go-to spec once we get more gear due to the multiplicative scaling effect that survival gives. Then we have the Beast Mastery build. It goes 31 points deep into the BM tree in order to pick up all the modifiers for your pet as well as Bestial Wrath. This spec performs the best when fights are either short or long enough for you to get utility from a second Bestial Wrath. And then lastly, we have the mix spec that picks up the best from both talents. The spec goes 7 points deep into survival to pick up 20% extra crit chance on Raptor Strike and then spends the rest in the Beast Mastery tree. This is the spec that I'm running at the moment and the spec that I think has the most value and one that will scale better with gear than the full Beast Mastery build. The Melee Hunter doesn't necessarily have a rotation, rather it has a priority system with us occasionally weaving in additional spells based on the situation. We want to prioritize using Flanking Strike, then Raptor Strike, or then Carve if we're using the Rune, and potentially a Fang Death into Explosive Trap if there are three targets or more. Trap Weaving Immolation Trap on single target is a meme and is not worth it. It's also possible to weave in multi-shots if you have more than one target at range from the mob that you're currently fighting, but that's only worth it if both your flanking strike and rapid strike is on cooldown. It's up for debate whether or not using Serpent Sting on pull is worth it, but I think it is due to how quickly we can regenerate mana with Aspect of the Viper. And then remember to stay in Aspect of the Hawk since your pet scales with ranged attack power and you never know when you'll need to toss out some attacks with the bow. Despite the bosses in Nomer having higher armor values, running the cat pet will be mandatory in phase 2. Wind Serpents would have been very strong for this raid due to the high armor values on bosses and with balanced druids giving 20% nature damage bonus on the boss. However, we cannot get rank 4 breath until level 41, making the Wind Serpent useless. Thus, running a 2.0 attack speed cat due to the increased usage of flanking strike with rank 6 bite, rank 6 claw, and rank 2 dash will be your best bet. A quick trip to Feralus, Tanaris, and Badlands will net you everything you need to get your Phase 2 Biz Pet. Going over each individual gear piece is beyond the scope of this video, but here are some noteworthy items as we get ready to jump into Nomer. If you're revered with the Silverwing Sentinels, make sure to grab your pre biz sword from the vendor. Pair it with the Vanquisher Sword from RFD Quest, which you can pick up from Stormwind or Undercity. When you're down at the vendor in Ashenvale, pick up the level 38 neck and ring as well as level 28 ring. The level 28 ring is very close to the other previous options. And of course, if you're a degen, get the leather braces from the vendor while you're at it. Then head down to Feralus and farm the distress beacon for the chicken escort. The shoulder quest rewards from this quest will be bis the entire face. While we're at it, another bis quest reward we can pick up is from the Tremors of the Earth questline in Badlands, which gives you a 23 agility and 3 strength chest. Of course, you'll have to tough it out and head down to STV for the PvP event in order to pick up your bis bow. The strength on hit procs all the time, and yes, it can proc off melee attacks. You'll want to be leatherworking for the helmet and engineering for the belt. Keep in mind that when you're gearing that you scale both with agility and strength. Both scale 1 to 1, meaning 1 agility or 1 strength gives you 1 attack power, but agility also provides crit and should thus be prioritized. 
We'll want to keep quite a few consumables on hand. The ones that increase our damage are Dragon Breath Chili, Sagefish Delight, Elixir of Agility, Elixir of Ogre Strength, Oil of Emulation, and Solid Sharpening Stones on the offhand, as well as the main hand if you don't have a Feral Druid in your group. Since we're now melee and more susceptible to incoming damage, having faps and nature protection potions ready for use should be a no-brainer. Melee Hunter is currently very strong, and perhaps a bit too strong. There's a quite real possibility that we'll see tuning coming out on our Raptor Strike. But it's also quite possible that we'll fall off as people get more gear. But our scaling in melee is actually not that bad, especially if we can swap over to Survival and Lone Wolf at some point. Let me know if there's anything else about the melee hunter you'd like to know, like how to gear and spec for PvP, or perhaps best in slot gearing guides. But for now, thank you very much for watching, until next time.